when I said we were going to come chat. And these are, you know, pretty hardcore fans of yours said, oh, my gosh, where's he been? We yeah. want to see more of him. Yeah. Do you get that And then lot? when you were driving out here, you went, yeah, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> where actor Michael Keaton has been is remote. It's close to nothing, except perhaps heaven. For the past 25 years, Keaton has made this Montana landscape his home. Big sky country, with big thunderstorms to match. It's his home on the range, where the deer and the antelope really do play. Sure is worlds away from Hollywood, though. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that kind of the point? Yeah, but I'm not one of those, you know, um, I, I hate Hollywood guys. I, you know, I, I don't know how to not live like this. So this is where he's been geographically. But our question was really more about where Michael Keaton has been professionally. It's showtime. It's been a long time since he played that bad-mannered zombie in Beetlejuice. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? Let's go, Barbara. Wait. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Bruce Wayne. And there have been countless superhero films since Keaton first donned that black cape. What are you? I'm Batman. Where I've been is just, you know, being a person living life. It's not really very complicated. I mean, I certainly I drop out. Michael, Michael. There's a lot of people who weren't knocking on my door, but there were some knocking on my door, and I was going, that's not what I really want to do. Did you ever lose interest in it? Yeah, yeah. I got tired, I got bored of hearing myself. This is in the interview, your father was a drunk like Carver. Is that true, Matt? Is that true? No, no. Because no, my what? father was. My father was a mean and drunk. But his latest role in the film Birdman has him more engaged than ever, and has some people even talking Oscar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's that is that's horrible, man. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's also not true. Keaton plays Riggin Thompson, an actor who became a household name for playing the Birdman, a comic book superhero. Birdman! But the role haunts the rest of his career. We find him as he's trying to mount a comeback on Broadway to prove to his fans that. He's more than just an actor in a crazy costume. So it's not autobiographical, but it's pretty darn Oh, yeah, close. I mean. It's weird. Of course, it's amazing. The part wasn't written for or about Keaton. It's just an odd coincidence. I probably relate less to this character than anybody I've ever done. That's the really? irony. You don't have that voice in your head telling you you need to be. I've got other voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who's the man behind the bed? He is, truth be told, Michael Douglas, Keaton's real name, born the youngest of seven in Pittsburgh in 1951. As the youngest, were you always the one cracking jokes? Were always... I was pretty funny, and I liked, I must have liked the attention. It's weird, because I actually don't like attention, but I must have liked the attention. His first exposure to show business came in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, to be exact, as a prop man at PBS station WQED. But Fred Rogers was neighborly enough to give a struggling actor a chance in front of the camera, too. Michael Douglas only changed his name to Keaton because there were two other Michael Douglases that were just a little more famous at the time. Hi. But it wasn't his name that got him noticed. It was his frenetic energy. Love brokers! In the film Night Shift. Idea to eliminate garbage. Edible paper. He had a certain charm that made him perfect for playing likable wise guys. Dad? Yeah? Well, wait till this is cold and the cheese isn't hardly melted down. And when Mr. Mom came around, casting Keaton seemed a no-brainer. He was witty, dry, and especially funny. Got a beer? Seven o'clock in the morning. Scotch? But 
Keaton could also do drama. Whether as a coke addict and clean and sober. Of course. Hey, come on, man. I'm going to pay you. I always pay you. Or a sociopath in Pacific Heights. Did you know that half of all homicide victims are killed with their own handguns? Did you know that? No, I know. I like to let the reins out. You know, I like to have the bit out of my mouth. I like to run because it, it feels good. Yeah. So, you know, I'm fairly fertile. Somewhere in that fertile mind of his, he found what director Tim Burton was looking for, for the character of Beetlejuice. Because frankly, to this day, I, I couldn't tell you what his idea was exactly. And, and, and it didn't, <laughs> really? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I developed a walk and I created a kind of talk. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Can I ask for fake teeth? <laughs> <laughs> That was free reign, because you could never say, you could never say, <laughs> right. my character wouldn't do that. <laughs> but when it came time to play the caped crusader, even some of his fans balked. The good-natured funny man they feared would never be dark enough to play a bat. It never occurred to me it would be an issue one way or another. I mean, Whether you were playing Batman. Yes. I mean, to this day, I think it's funny. Now I dig it. Now I love it. I mean, it's awesome. <laughs> but so, there were like petitions, right? People were like oh, writing yeah, into Warner Brothers yeah, and saying, yeah. oh, no, you can't yeah. have Mr. Mom yeah. play Batman. Yeah, villagers with torches. <laughs> <laughs> Batman went on to be one of the biggest grossing films of the decade. Batman Returns was too. But when it came time for Batman 3, Keaton bowed out even after being offered a reported $15 million to do it. But what was it about three that you just didn't like? It sucked. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> it pretty much sums it up. <laughs> yeah, it just was awful. <laughs> Keaton never really disappeared. He's been pretty much just as busy as he's wanted to be. He couldn't resist doing the voice of Barbie's Ken in Toy Story 3. Love your leg warmers. Nice ascot. Come on, Ken. Reese but nothing, not even Batman, has been as demanding as Birdman. No, that's why 20 years ago I said no to Birdman 4. All of the film is shot in long, unbroken takes. It plays more like a theater production than a movie. This is the most intense thing I'll probably ever do. You think? Just, oh yeah, I can't imagine doing anything this hard. Come on, bub. Hup, hup. Turns out, Michael Keaton hasn't been hiding from anything out here in Montana. Perhaps he's just been waiting for the role as fascinating as his view. I never use the word lucky. I don't believe in luck. You know, you make luck or you take opportunities and you turn that in something. But good fortune, I, phew, man, unbelievable.